chasing waterfall. We stick to the rhythms and the lyrics that you know. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick up how epic this entrance is, but holy canopy. Holy cannoli greenery. All right guys, new day in Kamegan, and here we are. We brought you guys to Katibawasan Falls. It's kind of the opposite direction of everything we did yesterday, so it's on the other side of the island but it's bright and early it's not even 8 a.m yet we are the first people here the workers aren't even here yet but they let us in somebody's on the ground it's 75 pesos per person and i know there is a 15 peso parking fee as well which you'll pay on the way out let's go see what it is because i know what better way to start your morning very much like to us on falls the waterfall here is in close proximity so we don't have to trek through the dust of the jungles or go down the slopes of the muddy roads to get to this beautiful, beautiful waterfall. It's true. And P's really excited for this one because he actually found it. He was doing a Google search. Thank so, you, P. Thanks, P. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't know. All right, let's go. And like Jose said, it's very easy access. I mean, there are stairs, so there's that, but it's very close. And you can enjoy the beauty. If you can't make it down the stairs, you can enjoy the beauty from it right here. This is way prettier. Let's go. Stop following Jose for just a second because this. This is not so bad. They're very well laid out space. Of course, get a little sitting booth. You still want to enjoy it a little further away. And I mean, that just makes it all worth it. if I could take him in the water he wanted to feel it so I guess I have no choice but to take him in there so he can feel it. All right Pete, let me take off my shoe okay? I mean, I don't need to say anything. This is doing it for me. It's so peaceful. It literally feels like you're in the middle of the jungle. So when you come this way and you put the directions in, Google was correct this time, by the way, just so you know. Um, the road you take, it feels very, like people haven't been on it for a while. It feels very remote. Just keep going. You'll, it, you'll, the last stop on this road is this actual waterfall. Um, but again, this speaks for itself. I don't need to say anything. Nothing. Yeah, here I am talking. Hi. <laughs> but no, it's beautiful. So I would definitely make this a, a stop. Um, you can swim here apparently, but they have a rope kind of cuts it off. So I'm oh. not sure if you can still swim right now. It might be depending on if there's like a lifeguard or somebody here. Because it definitely drops. You can definitely feel how deep it is. So this is a view from standing in the water. As you can see, it's not far at all. Just these steps, and the street is right there. But you can't see it, but that's the whole point. So, on the last vlog, I said Tuasan Falls is probably one of the most beautiful waterfalls here in Kamingan. But after experiencing this one right behind me, I had to change my mind completely. It also happens to be the tallest waterfall in Kamingan, 
and you can see why like it's pretty high up i was expecting brown murky water to be honest with you because it also rained last night again like i said this place speaks for itself it's so beautiful i'm gonna get off the screen and i'm just gonna let this run for like 15 or 20 seconds i just want you to hear how incredibly beautiful the sound is You guys, this is one of those places on earth where I would wholeheartedly, in a heartbeat, get on my knees and propose to William. However, I'm gonna turn the can budget, so that's not gonna happen this time around. But it would be in a similar space like this, just because we do love nature and we have it to ourselves. It feels very wonderful, relaxing, calming, and just romantic to say the least. Get here early in the morning. Get here before they even open if you don't not want to be. You want to enjoy this to yourself for a little bit before the family start rushing in. Because like, we've been here 20 minutes. This way, like a family of like 50 here. <laughs> Which is good. Yeah. But still. Get up about signs and rules Oh The payment and the long, long roads Yeah And you're always in such a rush mm. With your life playing from the stereo Oh But all alone mm -hmm. And you're always staring at your phone If you can only see Will's face right now It just reads pure disappointment And it's because after we left the waterfall We tried going to an ostrich farm Which looked pretty neat On Google Maps But as soon as you get there How would you describe it, William? I <laughs> Okay, we'll leave it at that. And then we turn back around, make the 10 minute drive to this like hidden cold spring. And as soon as we get there, how will you describe it, William? <laughs> so we're like, okay, let's just go to the next location we've been trying to show you guys. So now we're here having lunch at JA Fish Pen in this like cute lagoon on the island. But, oh, but, but 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 before we got here, we tried going to the Lagoon's Aqua Park. And how will you describe it, William? I ain't talking. <laughs> so at this point, we had three disappointments. So we're like, let's just go eat lunch and reset for the rest of the day. We just ordered some sweet and sour bangus with some garlic rice and hopefully oh and some french fries so hopefully that turns the day around no i'm not really disappointed it's just no i guess i'm really not disappointed <laughs> there's so much to do so it's like okay well we went to the next one i think we're just hungry to be quite honest with you it's one of those mornings where we can easily skip breakfast and be completely fine until lunch or even dinner but today's one of those days some days you just have them like bitch you need to eat change your attitude, get some french fries, and then let's try this all over again. So here we are. So what I have to do is soy sauce, and then this is, this is coconut vinegar. And I'm not the biggest fan, so I just put a couple dabbles in there. And of course, calamansi. Ready to cut, do that, get a little bulb out, bulb out, bulb out. Squeeze it in there. And then for aesthetic, we just drop it in there. We'll do another little squeeze of this. Get these little balls out. Oh, yes, get them out. Again, drop it in there. Take a little, ooh, red pepper. Got a red pepper here. Don't have any silverware for it, so I'm gonna take my fingers. I'm just gonna break it up into little pieces. Like this. And it definitely helps with the, the flavor. It's a little bit stronger. Ah. And the juxtaposition between all these flavors is absolutely flavorful. And we like to let it marinate a little bit. 
You just take a little, little spoon and mix it. A little hollow hollow. <laughs> oh my god, you can't contain it. A little mix mix. I put a little too much calamansi in it, but it's fine. Actually, no, I didn't. We just had initial flavor. So if you two are looking for the best way to mix, this is it. Bone appetit. Bone appetit. <laughs> <laughs> this looks stupid. Thank you, sir. The most important one. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. She's feeling rejuvenated. I am so much better. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. The underwater is here. Perfect. Oh, they're so big. Oh. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. That's amazing. It does. We just got done eating. Food was good. What we didn't realize until like we were halfway through our meal was that we were paying by the gram instead of by the fish so the total ended up being 1500 pesos which equals out to close to 30 dollars 30 us dollars yeah, it's just a little pricey and moving forward just gonna look at the menu a little bit better ask questions where we need to ask um but we tried it and now we can just move on with our day and by that, it means end our day here since we blew the budget for the day. Everything we went to today just not panning out. Was kind of like you know how it is. Like you're human, so your 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 mood declines, and that's fine. It's okay to do that. So it's also really okay to like bounce right back. And ice cream. It's the best way to do it. Oh, go on. What you got? Cooking cream. What'd you get? Mango. Mm, how is it? It's so good. It's like um, milky, creamy, mm. creamy, sweet, and just very like natural. This is good. That's almost like a sherbet. Mm -hmm. It was only 60 pesos, you guys. So not bad. Not bad at all. And oh, yeah. because I saw this in, in the Philippines, you will find the best banana bread ever. They have this. It was only 150 pesos. Made fresh. And I mean it. They make the best banana bread among chicken and everything else. <laughs> 